I'm Brini Grealish and welcome to The Fingerless Kitchen. Today I'm here at Mother's Cupboard to challenge owner and chef Pete Green to the No Thumb Chef Challenge. So let's go inside. But first, before we start this challenge, I need to have a pancake because I am super hungry and they are super large. Come on in. But before you go in, make sure you follow mother's rules. Just like at your mama's house, you gotta make sure you use your manners. But don't worry, the portions are huge and it's okay that you don't finish everything on your plate. Mother's Cupboard is a tiny shack serving up breakfast in a massive way. From the huge pancakes the size of your plate to a giant towering frittata so big they dare that you can't eat it all. But if you do, you get your face up on the wall of fame. But right now, I'm gonna finish up my breakfast and we're gonna go say hello to Pete and get this challenge started. Hi. Hi, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, thanks for letting me come here today. No problem, all I'm right. very intrigued. You're intrigued. <laughs> well, this is Pete Green. He's the owner and chef cook. I guess, of yes. Mother's Cupboard. And he has so graciously let me come here today to uh, do our No Thumb Chef Challenge where we're gonna take Pete up. Um, and we're gonna do a simple task today and it's gonna be to crack some eggs and maybe we'll separate a few, right? Because you crack a lot of eggs every day. I've cracked over a million eggs in my career. That's a lot, that's a lot of eggs. I'm gonna take you off. All right. Okay. So what, just my thumbs? What are you giving me? No, it's all of it. All of it? No, no, pinky. You get, you keep your pinky. So you're doing okay. this like me. Okay. You have to do it like me. Okay. Okay. So now this, the, <laughs> this is my part where I'm trying to figure out how we tape you up because you're hairy. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So. Is this wax removal tape? Yeah. One more. Okay. You, gotta be, you have to be in there. I've got to come up with a different way to do this, but right now. Okay. okay, ready? Next one. So, which one oh, is yeah. comfortable? Okay. Do this again. Start this way, maybe? Of course. I don't really know. We just put enough tape that you won't go anywhere. <laughs> I feel like a dirty box in there. Poke you in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> and one more. All right. One more. Hold on. Ready? Like no challenge. No, no, nothing can wiggle. For me, using my body is usually really helpful for doing anything in the kitchen. Okay. You know, sometimes I like to make really big cakes. I'm cracking eggs almost every single day. My kids love eggs. We're eating eggs all sure. the time. I've not nearly cracked as many as you. Right. And I don't think I will do. How are you going to do this? So you could start by cracking three eggs normally. And then, because I'll go along with you and do it. So you do everything two-handed? Yes. Every, everything I do I has to be done two-handed. Cause I, sometimes I'll sit like this and I'll just yeah no that's not it's not happening absolutely okay so just you go first and no, I want to here okay you. grab an egg you want me to go first grab an egg we'll do it together okay <laughs> so we don't have to race it we can just do it right so I saw how fast you cracked those eggs for my scrambled eggs yeah yeah so that's just not gonna happen go anymore. for it right yeah I'm gonna wait for you no. No waiting. Oh, I got a shell in there. No, oh, it's okay. You want three in each? Well, just three and then start <laughs> separating. <laughs> I do. I put right up. <laughs> See, this part I think I can get. But I'm also, you know what? I'm losing my thumb. You can see. It's all right. That's what I'm saying. You have all that extra. It's, I, you're right. I am cheating. Yeah. It's not cheating, but, you know, it does work. You get three, and then you can. <laughs> You're right. I am gonna swear. <laughs> Cause this is messy. I always get really messy. See, I also my, my other thing is, is like, like I try to keep like the food away away from my hands and stuff, and I feel like I'm just. Well, I wash my hands a lot in the kitchen because I have to keep going back because right. I have to use my whole hand to do about everything I feel like I'm getting egg everywhere. You, that's why I gave you a cup. 
cutting board, but I think yeah. I should have given you the bigger cutting maybe board. Maybe a drop cloth? Mm, maybe. I, mean, I don't have a lot of shells here. We're good. Come on, you can do it. All right. Okay. Am I getting faster? Uh, hmm. You're getting faster. I mean, now, how would you do this if you had but to work here? Like now, now the, the other thing is, oh, see, the separation. That's what I was going to bring up. That's like, making them over easy, because I don't think I have a whole one. See how you have whole ones? Mm -hmm. I do not have a whole one yet. No. See? Oh, well, that's what takes practice. Like So this, everybody this. gets scrambled eggs. That's right. <laughs> so, we got, I got All right, I'm going to try, try to get a whole one. Okay. I still feel like I'm cheating. I believe like in this. you. Oh! <laughs> you got seven more. All right. You can do it. We'll give you up to seven more. I'm OCD in with the shells here. Well, do you know you know how you can do that, right? You can use yeah, I know that. Too. Believe me, I can pluck them out faster than that thing. You can you can pluck them out faster if you. Have I take the fork right? and I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I go. Whoop. All right, let's get a whole one. Okay. Yeah. Would you? I almost tried to just grab. Would that, you like, like this. to? Here, who's a different? Yeah. Oh, you cleaned it out. There we go. We'll try this. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. I get my fingers. Oh, see, that's... Nope. You suck. Got it. Come on. There we go. Too. See, I did that pretty fast. Oh, Now, do you think using, like, an egg cracking tool would be helpful here? Or do you think that would become more difficult and it would be time-consuming, right? No, I would probably think, think of work? ways to, to cheat around it. Like, I'd have something in there that I could just crack against. Okay. Do you think it's a cheat? Whack. Or do you think it's some like kind of creative problem solving to make evolving. you get it done evolve? <laughs> you are evolving. Let's evolve when I get a, a whole egg. Maybe if I rotate it and get another crack in it. There you go. I did it! <laughs> so now, now trying to separate those Eight out. Eight tries. <laughs> oh yeah, that, uh, you want me to try that? Well, Because usually I, cra I just send them, I crack them down and they'll split right in half. And I, yeah. That's the power part. I don't have an egg. Well, see, I think you may need one of these because you're getting all sticky. I know. It's Ooh, there you go. Now you got a good crack. Now. <laughs> I lost half of it. What do you do for me here? Spoons. 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 I use spoons for stuff. I mean, it's basic stuff around the house that you kind of need. I didn't break to. that one. <laughs> figure out what you can use to get it done in the kitchen. I think, okay, we well, got that, but you haven't separated one yet. Really, you have to <laughs> Told you we're gonna need more eggs, there's a case. <laughs> all right. Omelets all around. My, my little ones are gonna love this. Mm. Mm. So tell me what you're thinking right now besides these. I was trying to this focus story. on not dropping it. <laughs> Stop working you now. No. Can you imagine like sous chefing in front of a crowd? Like in front of all these lovely people here? Alright, I screwed this one up. And this one's gross! Yeah. That could have been alive. <laughs> Alright. What if I you, it's not cheap. Look at you, you're like waiting on me. I'm wait, well, you know what? You, I've been doing this for a long time. You're trying this new, right? You've just yeah, taken yeah. away what you thought you needed in the kitchen. And what you're finding is that this is a really hard task. And right now, I'm going to tell you that you so far have had the hardest task out of anybody. Really? I've done so far. Hang on. Oh! <laughs> you know what? No yellow. No yellow. <laughs> is that a success? I don't You're know. Such a mess. <laughs> if it's finger painting, it's a success. <laughs> it's a success. You All got right. two more to try to get this done. All right. Am I separating them? Yeah. Right. We're making you separate them. Is it, that's what people are going to do in the kitchen. They're going to need to figure out how to separate. See, but I usually right. smack it against an edge. That way it gives me a line and half. Yeah, but I'm you thinking smash them <laughs> on the counter, they leave a one. Mm -hmm. See, well, I'm thinking idea. if you tried to smash that on an edge, that's hitting the floor. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, no, that's happened. I, I dropped plenty of eggs trying to do this. <laughs> there we go. I'm like trying to, like, grip it but not break it. It's hard. Oh, see, you're, you're starting to get it now. 
Only 400,000 no. more eggs? No, you, oh! you've tried it this way. Now I got a yolk in there. Why don't you try it one more way? Okay. Okay. Got one this left. is hard for you. And that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Cracking eggs, you didn't ever think that eggs would be hard to crack. Absolutely you? not. No, that's my least intimidating thing around here. <laughs> but now it can be actually become a really intimidating thing for someone in the kitchen with a disability. Absolutely. Sure. Now, try that. Just crack it into here. And uh, try a spoon. No. Yeah. Just try a spoon. Well, you know, these are my favorite spoons because they're easy for me to hold. And then you want me to pull the yolk out? Yeah, pull the yolk out and see if it works for you. Well, don't break the yolk first. Too late. Then, too late. Oh no, I didn't oh, break oh, it! Oh, oh, oh. Go for it. Is it, is it cheating? You got, you got, no, it's not, it's not cheating if it helps you do something in the kitchen. Right? <laughs> if it works. There you go. You should feel proud. That's weird. Oh. You, you know what? I found a lot of chefs will talk about how you need all of your fingers in the kitchen. Right? Like sometimes they say the best tool for separating an egg is straining it through your fingers. Yeah, they do say that. Okay, that they, grosses me out too. It, it, does, it, it does get a little gross and you're pretty grody right now yourself. Now, I can't do that. And there's other people out there with maybe like arthritis or other things with their hands or they don't have right. one whole hand. So what are you going to do? And so that's when you start looking around your kitchen to see what you can use, right? It's, it's adapting in the kitchen, so it's not cheating. If you can work your way around it. If you can work your way around it, but you did it. Yeah. It's gonna take you forever it doesn't to make look it. Look at I know. Look at <laughs> You're clean. It's clean. I only have one little shell. Um, that's really pretty awesome because this never happens for me either. So oh, yeah? just for today, just in front of you. Nice. See, it work well. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So we do have a little mess on your side. It's okay. Up. Not bad. Not at all. I make egg mess every day, so. That's right. So, what else are you thinking? I, I'm you thinking about? that coming from like, because I've done this for so long, and then throw this little twist in here, then, <laughs> that it's humbling, that it's, it brings you back down to earth to some point where you, where you do. Enter into a field where you're like, oh no, <laughs> could I live like this? You know, some people do. A lot of people. And I'll do. take my fingers for granted as I run around this earth. <laughs> well, you know, now is also the time if you think about it later. What else can you do now? Like, so you've done this. This was a hard challenge, and I. This might be one of the hardest, but I would think like the, the holding the spatula, right. Things like that. I'd probably duct tape that thing right to me. <laughs> For me, that would, I, yeah, you gotta use both hands. Right, right. Where you're trying to, like, grab a plate, mm -hmm. grab yep. this, you know, because you're always. You're always moving, but right. every time and I do something. If I needed to be like this, every, so I would literally, it's gotta be exhausting because you would literally have to grab a plate, yep. bring it here, put the food on it, plate up. Yep. Like, the thought process is way more. Yeah, everything that I have to do, and for other people with disabilities, like you have to yeah, you have to think many steps in advance. Right. You have to do a lot more just to get one simple task. Right, like getting done. an egg off the grill to a plate to the plate to here is probably an extra six steps for you. Absolutely. Count, count that in your your, your daily my, steps. I count it on my Fitbit. I know. So, what do you think we can do to help people with disabilities in the kitchen? I mean. Um. You know, Honestly, I think that, that like me, because I was a little nervous and scared to do it, I think that if they just do it and, and get over a fear of maybe just being that little bit of different and try it and get in there, and they might surprise themselves. And they might find something they like doing. I know, because are you a little surprised that you made it through at least all of them? I thought I would make more whole. I didn't think I'd break them so many. <laughs> I made a mess. <laughs> Well, a lot of what I'm telling people is is that, and for people with disabilities, that your limitations mm -hmm. are opportunities to do something different and amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like we talked about earlier, if you're born with, with it and they adapt as they grow, maybe some of these people can teach other people that are come into the situation, like out of war or a situation out of work or something, to make them more comfortable. Because like somebody like you can come in and be like, oh. I got this. Yeah. I got this. And, and it doesn't bother you. They need to share that comfortability with other people so they can. Yeah. 
And that's what I'm trying to do. Yes. What we're trying to do with this. So we got you out of your comfort zone. Yeah. So that's, I think you could tell. Can <laughs> and we got it. Yeah. You and know it's what? It's humbling, to be honest. I know you got to get running. But I know if we had practiced, maybe I could I know, do the whole I leg. You couldn't do, like, you couldn't practice. We need to no. see how you did in the uh, in the moment. That's what it is. In the moment. <laughs> well, Pete, thank you so much for thank letting me for crash your place today no and sharing our message today. And really, everybody, if you like these videos and following along, don't forget to uh, show the love, share the video. And remember, if you think you're all thumbs in the kitchen, I'm here to prove that you never needed them. Mm -hmm. All right. So bye for now from the Fingerless Kitchen.